What's up guys, Alec here, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can integrate an interactive story poll in your Instagram story ads. So, 500 million Instagram accounts are using Instagram stories every single day, and that includes some of the world's biggest brands. Full screen native stories are helping businesses tell better brand stories, and interactive elements such as polls and questions are bringing people closer together. They're creating a better relationship between the brand and its followers. 60% of businesses on Instagram stories use an interactive element in their organic story every month. This includes the hashtag sticker, the at mention sticker, the polls, the questions, any one of those. A couple of months ago, Instagram announced that businesses and brands will be able to use interactive elements in their Instagram story ads so they'll be able to engage with users beyond their followers starting with the polling sticker. Advertisers in their beta launch had success using the interactive poll sticker in their Instagram story ads. Brands such as Dunkin' achieved a 20% lower cost per video view using the poll sticker. And Next Game's Instagram story poll ad drove app installs up by 40%. Adding an interactive poll to your Instagram story ad is a great move because it makes the targeted audience already feel like they're engaging with you. Also, when I see one of these ads when I'm tapping through all of my Instagram stories, I'm a lot more likely to stop because I feel like it's one of my friends that's put up that story with the Instagram poll. This is because so little brands and businesses are using this interactive poll in their Instagram story ads at the moment. While it's still quite new, people are still fascinated by it and think it's a cool feature. In a couple of years, people are just gonna see it as the normal ad again. So try and use this as soon as possible to help your brand stand out. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create an interactive Instagram story ad with a poll. Before I get started, I do want to mention that you have to create this interactive story poll ad straight within your Facebook's ad manager. This is because Instagram still doesn't support the promotion of one of your stories from your archives that has a tappable element on it. I also want to say that I'm going to show the process of creating the ad, but I'm not going to go in depth in all the details and demographics. I'm mainly going to focus on adding the interactive poll to your Instagram story ad. Okay, so the first thing you need is going to be the actual ad content. So I basically just recorded um, something real quick on my phone, and I'm just going to use this as an example to show you how to create the ad. Just so you can see real quick, here it is. Hey guys, Alec here, and I'm currently working on some new Instagram story ads, and I'm curious to know, have you tried out Instagram story ads before to grow your business? or your brand or your personal brand. If you have hit yes, if you haven't hit no, and what was your experience with them? Let me know. Okay, so that was my 12 second Instagram story ad. And obviously I'm gonna add a poll on here because I asked a question. I said, have you used Instagram story ads before? Yes or no. Okay, so now I'm in my Instagram ads manager and I'm gonna go through this quite quickly. I'm not gonna show you everything in detail. And if you do wanna watch it all in detail though, I've made another Instagram story ad video. So I'm gonna link that in the cards below. I think it's this side, I always forget. So watch that if you're completely new to Instagram story ads. If you know a little bit about them, I'm just gonna quickly run through this video and then I'm gonna show you in detail how to actually add the poll to your Instagram story ad. So here, I'm in my, so here I'm in my Instagram ads manager and I'm gonna click on create ads or create ad. I'm gonna choose traffic because I'm gonna be sending traffic to a YouTube video. This is just a quick test. I'm not actually gonna be serious with this ad. So five euros because I don't wanna waste money. This ad is just a tutorial to show you guys. I'm gonna do traffic to YouTube, Instagram, story, ad, tutorial. Um, then I hit continue. Then I wait for it to load. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this on website because I'm gonna be sending them to a YouTube video. Coming down here, I'm gonna add United States, if it will let me, United States. Okay, so I'm targeting the locations United Kingdom and United States. And then I'm going to be changing the age range. I'm gonna change the age range to, let's say 18 to 30. Enter a language, I want everyone that sees my ad to speak English. Detailed targeting, I'm gonna change this to social, or I'm gonna add social media marketing as the main interest. And then I'm gonna narrow my audience, and what a narrowing an audience does means they have to be interested in one thing and another, not interested in one topic or another one. So they have to be interested in social media marketing and have an interest in Gary Vaynerchuk because Gary Vaynerchuk pushes Instagram story ads a lot and ads on Facebook in general. So I think that people will be a lot more likely to check out my video because they've heard about the ads but they might not actually know how to use them or they might have never used them before. 
I'm not going to do anything related to connections and now the important part or one of the important parts is edit placements. So I'm going to edit the placement and I want to remove everything except Instagram stories. So I'm going to tick all these boxes or untick all these boxes until I only have Instagram stories left. Now the reason this is important is that if you have any of these other ones ticked Facebook Ads Manager won't offer you the opportunity to add an Instagram poll to your Instagram story. Um, all right, so now I'm going to leave it on all mobile devices and I'm going to click only when connected to Wi Fi. This is because I feel like people won't want to waste their data watching an Instagram story ad. Go down here, I'm going to leave everything on as it is. Um, I don't know why my audience size doesn't seem to be loading right now, but I am going through this very quickly, so it's not that important. This is just to show you. But you do want to try and keep your audience size in the green. I always keep it a little bit to the right. So I'm going to hit continue. I think it could be very slow due to the fact that I'm screen recording at the same time and I've got an old, old MacBook Pro, which isn't the best. So now I'm going to do single image or video. I'm going to make sure that the Instagram account that it's shown from is my personal one, which is correct. Um, I'm going to go to video. Um, I'm going to go upload video. I'm going to go to where my video is saved. I'm just going to bring this in here. Now Facebook is going to upload the video and then it's going to process it and check it out make sure it's all right to be used as an ad and this this is the important part so i'm just going to go to youtube.com slash alec wilcock yeah i'm just going to add youtube.com slash alec wilcock as the website url that the ad takes the person to the call to action i'm going to put as learn more and then this is the important part here you can see ad interactive poll so it says, if you're using a full screen vertical media asset, nine by 16, you can add a poll for your audience to see which option they like best. So remember in this video, I was talking about Instagram story ads. I asked people if they'd used them before. So I'm gonna click this box to get a poll. And as you can see, it then shows up on my Instagram story. So now I'm gonna ask, have you used Instagram ads before? Option one is going to be yes option no uh, option two is going to be no then you can do a little bit of customization when it comes to the position and the size so vertical position i want it to be a bit lower down because it's in the front of my face so i'm going to hit 25 oh no my bad i want to hit 75 make it go the other way and then i'm going to pretty much leave it as it is you can customize it to exactly how you want it but i'm just doing this to show you and then this is pretty much it. Once I've done this, what I'm going to do is just hit confirm. And then that's your interactive Instagram story ad with a poll that has been created. Now you've just got to wait for Facebook to review your ad and then confirm it. And then your ad will be up and running. Okay, guys, so it's been about eight hours since the ad was launched. And I'm just going to show you, basically, I've got to show you a few things earlier. So this is why I'm catching up in this video. If I go to my ad, I click on it, I do view charts. Um, I just want to show you the results from when I click on my ad. So as you can see here, I mean, this was a terrible ad. Keep in mind, this ad is absolutely terrible. Um, I wasn't trying to make it amazing. This one is just purely for the tutorial. I just wanted to show you that you can preview it on your Instagram um, from your own stories. So if you go here, you click on your ad, you scroll down, you go to ad preview and comments. You then click on this little button and then you click on story ad, send notifications to Instagram. What that does is then it sends a notification to your Instagram account that pops up in your feed and then you can see your Instagram story. And from, from your Instagram, you can also see the poll votes that it's had. You can only see the percentage um, from your Instagram account though. To see the amount of votes you've actually got, um, you scroll down even further and right here at the bottom, you can see interactivity results. So I had a total of 21 responses, um, seven responses for yes, and then 14 responses for no. Um, this ad so far has had a reach of 132, but these 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 results are bad because the, the ad is bad. Um, I just made this one real quick to show you guys how it's done. 
So that is how you create an Instagram story ad. Remember to make sure that you only have Instagram stories selected as your placements, otherwise this option will not show up. So yeah, I really hope this video was helpful. I wanna do more tutorials like this about Instagram ads. It's quite hard though, because my computer is very slow and I just struggle to screen record. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button. Any questions about this whatsoever or about my channel or any suggestions, tips, anything, all types of feedback, let me know in the comment section below. I'll be replying to everyone on this video. I try to reply to everyone in general. And again, guys, I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and peace out.